A local teacher is one of only 20 in the state to be chosen for a prestigious fellowship. Her fourth graders are getting a school year they won't forget. This is actually a natural color that mudstone would be. This is science. So we'll use our water to start to sculpt it a little more. It's sculpture too. You fold them down a little bit. This is Josie Engdahl's class. It might not be as tall. I'm like, guys, you're the only ones in the corporation, like the only fourth grade class that gets to do this. Engdahl is a teacher at Meadows Edge. She's one of just 20 other educators in Indiana chosen for the 2023 Indiana Educator Fellowship for Creative Teachers. I have always been a very big um, like project-based um, teacher and so I love being able to do hands-on projects because even growing up I found myself like benefiting from that so I try to do that as much as I can and so especially with this we don't get a lot of science time but I feel like these kids are really excelling in that this area specifically because of this. The fellowship is a partnership between the Indiana Arts Commission and the Indiana Department of Education. The idea is help non-arts educators expand classroom teaching through creativity. So instead of just teaching science, Engdahl is teaching science through sculpture. Use your water. And she's doing it with the help of artists. This is ceramics. Ariana Peake. Telling me about wheels. I started when I was like a little kid like them. Peake is a painter. You may have seen her work at the South Bend Museum of Art. I think it's like a love for art and knowing how that they are able and um, worthy of creation. Fellows receive immersive training, a grant, and a partnership with a resident artist. Together, Engdahl and Peak are using the arts to reach and engage students in a creative way that's hands-on and memorable. You will remember like what a fossil is, how it's created. Your, your hand is acting as the pressure, the gravity, creating that fossil, compressing those slabs of limestone. Everybody use your thumb and you're gonna press it into the middle. The students have been learning about sedimentary rock like limestone and mudstone. They've been experimenting with fossils and clay. So today we are learning pinch pots. National and statewide research shows integrating the arts into core subjects like math, science, and reading helps students learn and retain new knowledge and skills. It's been very fun to see, like we'll review and like we'll talk about it like later on throughout the week and like even like preparing them before we start this lesson. And it's just amazing some of the vocabulary and the terms that they are able to recall as we have been talking about it throughout this whole semester so far. Engdahl and Peek say they have learned a lot. It's been an amazing experience and I'm hoping I can continue on with it. And they hope the students can take with them a greater appreciation for art and a love of learning. I like his little face in there. To learn more about what's happening in the classroom and some of their other projects, go to this story on our website. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube channel.